Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Beta Days. I'm Beanin, and today we are going to be working on, not this, but a project over in Riverton. If you didn't catch the last episode, well, we worked on this. We built us a mob grinder um, that's very loud and noisy. Uh, and as you can see, I've also just been grinding out here. There's zombies under my stuff, but that doesn't matter. I've got this guy uh, because, you know, I just need to get rid of the rotten flesh, all of that. And I got this guy who, come here, come here, is a mending villager, which I have put on my uh, tools so far. We'll just have to upgrade my axe, but now we've got mending on all of them. I know it's an unpopular a thing to have mending on all of them. Well, it's a split. It's not unpopular, but it's split. You either do or you don't. Um, but yes, today we are tackling my white whale. And I call it my white whale because... Little baby cave. I call it my white whale because, uh, well, this is the build that started me merging the two series together into one. And taking a break from this world when I thought I wanted a break... Um, when I thought I wanted a break from this world, when it was really just hard to keep up with two series at once. And that would be this hole right up here. You know, this hole's always been in the Riverton skyline, and it's always just been really hard to figure out what to put there. But today, we will figure it out. And I think, I mean, I know what I want to put there. I just don't know how to do it. I want a church. Um, originally, I was going to make a cleric. Uh you know, make it so we had a cleric trade here. But now that we have that spawner, it makes sense to have villager trades over there and whatnot. So let's uh, get right into everything. I'm going to go ahead and grab all my materials. I have plenty from uh, over there. <laughs> Digging that hole and, you know, making sure everything worked right. So I'm going to go take a sleep, get my materials gathered, and we're going to take another stab at this. And hopefully I don't fizzle out and go on some sort of sabbatical to the other world <laughs> all right now that i've got my materials and things laid out it's kind of well it's time to sorry i had a weird pause there it's time to start looking at the shape of the lot i have now it's kind of a, tra a challenging one where get out of here originally i wanted to limit myself to you know this side but i need to fill out this whole area without it feeling too, I guess, uh, rushed, if you will. Now, there's a few ways I can do this. I was looking at some pictures. Um, I could do it where this part is the main, you know, chapel area looking out over the river and having, you know, some sort of attached little administration area. Um, or, you know, I could do a diagonal build, which is Kind of tricky to do a little interesting um in terms of uh you know the semantics i guess is the right word for how that will all work but i don't know it, it's a tricky it's a tricky lot with a tricky build and you could always do this but bottom line is we're going to need a two block tall foundation either way because i want it to you know come up to here at least uh, so I'm going to start with just a basic, hmm. yeah, I'm going to start with just a basic cobblestone, you know, uh, mossy cobblestone mixture of everything and see, you know, like start laying out just a general shape, kind of trust in my process. All right. So here's kind of what I'm thinking. If we go up here real quick. Okay. That's not where I wanted to place that. If we take a look up here, I'm thinking... I can divide this into a few different sections. So here can be the main uh, area <laughs> for the church. I think that, you know, a little window out to here, a little window out to there will be, you know, just fine. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything huge. We're not building St. John's Cathedral or anything like that. <laughs> but over here, I want it to be, you know, like a different part of the building. But this one will just be the main thing. I've gone ahead and split the middle of this one right here. Uh, speaking of which, let me just, if I fall down, I've gone ahead and split the middle of this one right here for the main steeple, just because it's three wide, but it doesn't need to be that big. A church steeple is usually pretty small. 
I mean, it doesn't have to be a castle tower here. It can be, you know, whatever we want. Um, but I think this will fill out the rest of everything quite well. And don't worry, this is not uh, the final form. <laughs> I'm going to do some quick detailing. I'm just using this as a marker for when I actually start the building process. Down here is going to be, you know, the church uh, basement. I don't know what I'm going to put in here. I'd probably nothing because this is where the floor is going to be. So it'll just be like storage at the most. But no need uh, to worry about that. We should worry about this top part and kind of breaking up the texture. This part will always be, you know, cobblestone. I'll have this at the bottom. But I just want to see what we can come up with. Maybe I'll do something like this. Maybe I'll do something like that. Or who knows, maybe I'll do stone brick and cobblestone. Always worth finding out, but we'll figure it out. Uh -huh. Now, I have only spent a short while on this, but I've been toying around with the idea of kind of using this. I was going to make uh, smooth stone walls originally, but I don't know. I, <laughs> it, do, it doesn't seem like this. Now, the question is, should I use smooth stone as the pillars or should I use, uh, what is it, oak wood? Ooh, I'm gonna need my silk touch pick for this one. All right, let's see. I'm gonna do, well, uh, I don't know, hold on. Let me see how this looks. Um, because I know that some churches and stuff like that will use combinations of like, well, smooth concrete, I guess, and, you know, bricks. Uh, so, ow. The cool thing about this is we can just do this. <laughs> Didn't realize that. Um, but I do want to make sure that, I don't know, it looks good. There we go. I mean, at the end of the day, it only matters, you know, what I think about it. But, okay, that, that does look a little cleaner. Uh, I suppose it makes sense, too, because these ones over here are stone brick on the outside with stone on the inside. So, if I wanted to do stone brick on the outside do i could do this let me see oh uh, okay <laughs> let me see let's just grab that kind of just toy around with and see i do have some oh mossy stuff but i can also yeah, thank you i can also work on you know I, I i can get stone and you know mossy uh vines and stuff like that easy there's a jungle right over there per Pete's sake. So let's take this down. All right. Take a look at what we've got here. Okay. The that's, that's a little iffy, <laughs> not that just, I can't see the design. I honestly, I think it's a decent look. I'm going to add color to the windows, obviously, uh, prep probably green stained glass. Honestly, um, just use my normal, uh, what's it called? My normal palette, but I think there's a way or two that we can finagle this. I don't know. It, it's definitely going to be a matter of what block frames the stone bricks. I do like the stone brick walls on, you know, here because it, it does add that. Like if I do this and then I do stone, it does add that contrast that I want um, to separate the foundation from you know the <laughs> the so the actual church because it needs to look like this where it's sitting on a foundation um that isn't you know just like minecraft floaty <laughs> i think that also this will allow us to open the door for you know some not innovation but you know some ideas and whatnot that we can, you know, start kicking around uh, in terms of how we want things to look. Like, if I want the door to come here because I already got a pathway here, then that's good. And then we can have the little, you know, main church room, the steeple here. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to keep messing around. I'm sorry, I knocked my mic. But I'll do the first floor and we'll see kind of how it looks, get it framed. All right, so I think I've made... The decision to just square this off. It just looks weird, honestly. 
And I think part of what was making me unhappy with the oh, okay, what was making me unhappy with the previous build was the fact that I couldn't, you know, make this how I wanted. And I know it's well, no, 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 it is going to be even. Okay, cool. Yeah, so the steeple's going to be off. The steeple's going to be off center technically, but it is going to be centered. It's it. Just trust me on this one, okay? <laughs> Now, I am going to have to extend this out, but what's a little whoop, <laughs> you know, like it's not going to it's not going to cause that much of an issue. I do need to go get my silk touch pick and more stone. So that'll be the task I do right now while I finish this out. We can just, yeah, fill this out a little more. It doesn't have to be, you know, perfect. I just wanted to try and follow the shore hey kitty i want i wanted to try and follow the shore but if i don't if i i would rather have symmetry in some instance and then not have anything and this these three sections will be symmetric this section is like a lower end that won't have you know anything too crazy all right now let's see how this looks with these Perfect. I was like, these should work. I love that they do that. I don't think they do that in, um, what's it called? Bedrock. I don't know. Let me know if they do that. Uh, I know I have some bedrock viewers. Uh, so here, look at that. We can do these little sections. Now that kind of does take the, I don't know, dimension out of it a little, but you will be able to you know fix this up and there we go in the long run i think <laughs> once we figure this out everything will start you know coming into play i think if i go over here now the question is am i going to want to line it in the walls or am i going to want to line it in that's give me that am i going to want to line it in you know the glass. That is the million dollar question. I should have also brought flooring materials, but eh. Now, when you have scaffolding, it doesn't matter. I can just build a little. Okay, I should. Eh. Whatever. I can do this. Oh. There we go. That's enough. And then let me grab this. I don't know why I have pumpkin pies. Oh, yeah, I was in the chest over there. And I don't need these right here, honestly. Grab that. Okay. Hmm. Now, realistically, mm, I was like, do I want this a little higher up? No. It should go like this, and then the stone should come up. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Right here. Ah. See where I'm going with this? I mean, I, I'm sure you do. It's it's a church. It's not like rocket science. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Now, I want to be even with this just so that I can get the roof line. Just so that I can get the roof line uh, level. And then here, we're going to ow, put these all throughout this and I don't have any more so we'll have to go build some and then continue in the morning okay now the reason I stopped right here is because I need to figure out how high how, bleh, how high I want to go uh with this so I'm thinking here we can have like I don't know stairs but under this I'm going to want you know a roof that kind of works out with okay hold on <laughs> it doesn't have to like fit seamlessly but you know i want something to look nice okay and then you can go here um yeah because this is going to be the center point of the whole building that's going to be the center point of back there and then it, it, it's confusing it'll look good i think just trust the process please <laughs> and so this one Nope, not that's not supposed to go there. This one will have the steeple coming up here, which means that 
No. Hmm. Oh, duh. I can just do it right here. I was like, uh-oh. But then I remembered why we have these separated sections because then it'll add depth like this. And then, yeah, I should do that. Yeah? Okay, cool. And then, like, look. Like, now if I go down here. Sorry. 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 Thank you. Now if I go down here, you can see that it is centered along this side. And we can have a little thing there and the steeple up here, which is kind of what I wanted. So I'm going to keep building because no one likes to build in the rain. I'm going to just build this... Um, main section right here and let you guys know if i have any updates okay i'll give you 10 seconds to figure out what's wrong with this and why i originally hated this build okay i'm not gonna give it the 10 seconds um what's missing is the wood there's look look at all the buildings around here all framed in wood with different variations of this yes this looks a little weird but I need the wood texture, which means I got to tear down all of the framing um, and replace it with wood. Now, this might, this will be a, you know, uh, not arduous. It'll, it'll, it'll be an annoying process, but I think if I do this now, it'll look a lot better in the future. And then also, I don't know what I'm going to put right here. Maybe I'll just put, you know, stone bricks or something. I don't know. But yes, I need to switch this out with wood ASAP because that is what was wrong. I was doing too much stone in the middle of a stone dominated street with a stone fountain and stone houses, but they were all framed in wood. It looks different if I do the framing over there because, you know, that's kind of the more industrial area. It's kind of making a building gradient, if that makes sense. Um,. So, yeah, I'm just going to need to tear all of this down and replace it with wood. So, I'm going to do that, and I'll let you know once I'm all caught up again. All right. Yeah, it doesn't even have to be finished to already look better. I don't know. I wanted there to be, you know, a, a big stone building, but I just am not building at the scale to... There you go, buddy. I, I'm just not. All right. I'm just not. God, stop spinning on these things. There we go. I'm just not ready to. Uh, or I'm just not building at the scale that, you know, you need to. I swear to God, if you're spinning. Okay. Yeah. God. I'm just not ready building on the scale that you need to make this, you know, look. Uh, make it look, you know, crazy good. Now, now I do need some stone. I do need some stone. We'll put, the, we'll, we'll, we'll use the stone brick and stuff. Now I do need more wood. Shocker framing takes a lot of wood, <laughs> but I think up here I can kind of start. Uh, do I even have enough? I don't know. Scaffoldings are a little in short supply. Um, but I think, let's see if this is, I do want to start with this. If this is going to be here, then that means I want that there. So it matches up, right? Okay. So that's matched up to there. This can match up to here. I can go upside down with this. Yes, I can. And that's good because now I can put a lining on the inside and I think it'll actually work on work with the depth. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that. Yeah, that kind of looks, it kind of looks churchy. I don't know what church qualifies as churchy, but I think having that. Oh, okay. I just had an idea actually. Wait, why am I walking under here? I just thought. So maybe for here we have stone, yeah. 
Well, because okay, like my th I'm okay. Sorry, I know I'm having a conversation in my head again. My thought process is it does need this color in it. That that is a hundred percent certain. But at what point do I have this with you know stone and some elements of like wood? So if I have that, how does that look? I mean, that looks normal. That looks like it matches. Now, obviously, this one is going to be whatever. Now, ah, mm, hold on. <laughs> Beanin's thinking. <laughs> now, let me try this. See how it, how it reacts to my eyeballs. Or her, well, no, how my eyeballs react to it. Because this may be a case of just needs that bit of color to tie in with everything around okay okay and i can mix you know like andesite and some mossy stuff in here honestly i kind of like that okay well hold on this one doesn't really make sense to have um built up but the steeple in wood having that bit of brown is what breaks it up it just enough for it to tie or for it to a tie in with the rest of these builds and b be its own build and obviously yes i'm gonna change these up don't yell at me what are you doing back here greg <laughs> yeah because i was i was thinking i was like okay now hold the phone if i'm gonna have this be stone i might as well have that at least part of that be stone. Um, so it's, you know, I did it again. So it's continuous, but I, I think, I think we're getting there. I, I'm going to mess around with this a little bit. Hold the phone. I think I've done something. Ignore that. <laughs> but look at this. So in most castles, you see, there's always a stone arches. Now I, I'm concerned. No, this this is correct. This is correct. I was like, I'm concerned that's not like even, but it is even in the scope of the build, which I think is just grand. Um. Okay. So I do like having that color. Yeah. Now I might mess around with textures, and we might take this out completely. But for right now, I, I'm in. I'm enjoying what's going on here. Here, uh, oh yes, I will need some slabs. Excuse me. Just take half of these, do that, because we'll get the same amount of slabs. Oh, sir, <laughs> thank you. Um, who was I thinking? But we'll get the same amount of slabs if I do this. And if I come over here, I can add, drum roll please, thank you. Somewhat of a, Ah, there we go. Like a, like a brace almost. And then I think you, oh, oh, oops. You should honestly be a, yeah, you should be a stone. Ah, did it again. You should be a stone slab just because, well, why not? Like, you know, there we go. Yeah, because, I don't know, it'll just, it'll look a little weird. Honestly, eh. You know what, we'll figure, we'll see how that works. But for now, I think that's good. I mean, this has been a little bit of a trek and a, you know, <laughs> uh, a experiment. But I'd rather have this look good than me hate it. And hmm, what are we going to do up here for you? Cause there is going to be those gaps. Hmm. That's okay. We'll just put stone blocks behind it. Question mark. Maybe, uh, I'll figure that out when it's not night. All right. Now let's roof this main part. So I think, yep. If I do this, all should look well. And I think I'm going to leave the, copper roof exposed on the inside oh excuse me the copper roof exposed on the inside because well honestly it'd just be pretty swell 
Hmm. Ah, yes. Now there's the matter of you. So in theory, I should have actually done... Yeah, this. There we go. Hey, you know... So it, it's it's all trial and error with Beanin. Or with me. I don't, know. I don't know. It always feels weird when I refer to myself in the third person. But it's all trial and error. I mean, that's the case with anything. But I think I've got it pretty good right here. Let's... Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm very invested in this at this point because I don't want it to go wrong. I want to be satisfied with it because it has been sitting here as an empty thing for who knows how many episodes. Uh, sir, are you supposed to go there? No, I didn't think so. And then when it oxidizes, it'll look really cool as well. And I think I'm going to add... See. Uh you, yes, thank you. Uh, sir. Oh. I always hate it when those ones do that. Like that. <laughs> right here. Ow. And stairs for moi. Right here. Now I haven't addressed what I'm gonna do with uh, you know, right in here. <laughs> it should. I'm gonna check. I'm. Gonna, well, we can make sure right here, because I'm already up here. Oh, they won't connect to the walls. That's perfect. Oh, but then there will be this little gap. Ugh. Uh, that can be easily fixed. Let's see. Okay, watch this. Call me a genius. Call. Okay. Yeah, the genius who can't even do this right. There we go. Oh. Yeah. No. Yeah. Ah, poo. Ah, there we go. And then... Yeah. That's good for a tower. I mean, it, yeah, it's... Yeah, that's nice. Uh, what was that sound? I don't know. Anyway. And then here we can just have... Excuse me. These come up around as our little, I don't know, guards, maybe? Huh. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, oh, that's looking good. And then here I'm just going to have like, a, I don't know, flat, huh. flatness. That sounds good for me. Now, huh. no. sir. Okay, whatever. Huh. But I think this is going good. I'm actually becoming very impressed with this now oh yeah i gotta gotta work with this now i'm gonna make a quick cut here and do some touching up because we still got a little bit to go on the project and i don't want to run over time today you know i was thinking of what to do for the floors and i just remembered i had all that quartz from our most recent nether trip that i had smelted just for the xp uh and so i figured why not use this i mean i'm going to use it anyway uh, for flooring and it's actually originally what I wanted the floor to look like in the church Except where did I put it is the qu Oh, I know where it all is <laughs> Hold on It's all the way over in uh, The tool room or whatever it is Not a tool room. Wait, no, there should be more though uh, Let's see if I make slabs out of it, it'll also stretch well, I mean, there's that. Could have sworn. But no, there's. I definitely have more. I'm a little lost. I guess. I mean, what am I not lost? But it should be way more. Is did I use it all in here? Hold on. Ah, there you are. I was like, there's no way I used it all. Okay, um, yes, so, uh-oh, <laughs> I don't want to deal with those guys right now. <laughs> it's been forever since they've spawned in here, and I'm not about to have a raid here, although I do need to make a raid farm. Hey, look, that looks nice. It's starting to fill out, and luckily, it seems that, yeah, the pillagers are contained. <laughs> that is funny. They're, they're contained all up in there. Well, that's good. 
Uh, there we are. All right. So, uh, quick update. I've gone ahead. Okay, you're still spinning. <laughs> I've gone ahead and built out, you know, some more of the church, which is good. Because, well, now I can just, you know, fill out the floorboard or the flooring, which is what I need. But I think it's starting to come together. I'm going to finish out the main structure and then have or and then put the, um, you know, what's it called? Uh, the details in because I do need to make a trip to the jungle so that I can... Oh, look, you finally have a floor that you don't spin on. But I do need uh, to go to the jungle to get some v vines. I almost said veins. Ooh, hello, darkness. My old friend. <laughs> uh, don't like that. Sir, you should probably get out of here. There we go. And then just fill this in. But I need to get some more vines. Or I need to get some vines to make the mossy variants of... Oh. All of what I'm working on. There's some wood there. But I think going with the... Yeah, going with the quartz over everything else, I think is a good... It's a good call. Except for when I do that. Thank you. Oh, okay. I guess I'll need more. I'm not surprised, though. You know, looking back at it. Alrighty, putting the final s touches... On this, sorry, I just I keep knocking the crap out of my mic tonight. <laughs> Putting the final touches on these things, you know, kind of filling out some stuff that I need. I just got to go grab, I think, a little more copper, and then we should be good for the steeple or the roof. I don't know. I'll make it look more churchy because, I mean, look, like some of these things look way more... Some of these roofs look more like a steeple than the steeple itself. But for now, you know, it's almost 10 at night. I'm kind of tired, but I am going to see this through. We will get this done tonight. But I'll do renovations, you know, as time demands. But for now, let me just grab this. And then we can go ahead and kind of just start working on the details and you know filling everything out i don't think i'm gonna do the uh interior though because well eh, i can do that at a later date i just want the shell up honestly and honestly as much as i despise it i might go with the uh you know the little uh, what's it called the little steeple thing that i did uh kind of a mini version of that because i mean well, come on. It's, it's, a, it's a good... It's a good uh, design. And I don't know why I paused there for so long. Sorry, I'm just thinking... You know, thinking I'm building doesn't go well with me. <laughs> Let's see. So we'll put that there. Put that there. Boom. Boom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is starting to look good. There's that. And then you'll go here. We could put slabs down under there. There we go. Uh, you can go there. Awesome. And then, no, I was going to say, should I carry it through? I was, nah. There's that. There's that. Oh. Eh. Uh, well, eh. nah. If it came up to a one block tall point then i'd do it uh let's see you can go there and then i can oh wait no i do need that little bottom one okay yeah that yeah that little bottom one is actually quite important oh that's an easier way to do it i'm so dumb sometimes <laughs> just like you boop okay maybe not that uh boom 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 and look at that Sweet. Now let me... I'm going to have to go make some more... Really? <laughs> I'm going to have to go make some more... Uh, what's it called? 
stone brick walls. But I think that looks okay for a church. I, I, I'll change it. Don't worry. I just wanted... You know, I, I'm, I'm glad that I'm happy with what we've got so far. I might need to add another level. And of course I got... Did I get one? Oh, okay. Yep. Let me just go fix this real quick. I always do it way too high. Hold on. Where is this? Come here. Where you at? Oh, of course you're all the way up here. Alright, let's see what we've got in terms of stone slash stone brick. Of course. Okay, well, we'll do that. Put you there. Grab that. And then I gotta build another wall up here again. Oh. 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 Okay, so then I can just... Yeah. Ah. Oh. Is that... I do need a stone brick block. Hold on, give me that. I was going to say, I need a stone brick block for up there. Okay, so now that I have you... Honestly, I can just do this. Oh, got to grab these ones. Make sure there's nothing too crazy up there. Okay. Actually, wait, if I go up, it'll probably be easier for me to see. Thank you. Um... I almost went and do it. Oh, there you are. You come here. Fix you. Thank you. Now, I don't have any lighting, which may be a problem, but I don't know. I can just block off the door, honestly. At this point, I think I might. So the door... <laughs> Actually, no. Uh, door will go right here. Let's just make sure there's no villagers in there. Cool, cool, cool. And I got the glass in there. All right. Actually, it's not in here that I'm worried about. It's, uh, where are you? Down here. This is, this is what I'm worried about right in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and cover that up. But I'll leave that there just to remind myself that, you know, we've got that there. Okay. So those, so that should be it for the exterior. Uh, in terms of detail, I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, start working on stuff like this. Actually, hold on. There is a little spot up here that I need to fix. Let's grab you. Okay. And then make sure I've got everything on this side done. Okay, wait, hold on. I will need to bring you up here and yeah knew it so if I come up here uh, there you are okay that's fine oh nope didn't want that there we go sorry I'm just trying to get this in okay cool uh, I don't need I don't need one there. Okay, so that's the interior done. Finally, I've got something that I'm proud of. Now, again, a lot of this is still subject to change, but for now, for now we can uh we can appreciate the fact that I built something that I like. Well, that I'm satisfied with right here. It's not a f like matter of oh I don't like it. It's it's I wasn't satisfied with the original. So now I'm just gonna go through here and just kind of mix up the bottom parts because a building like this definitely needs the variation at least on the outside, obviously. So I'm gonna do that and then I think we can wrap up this video or move on to a smaller project that doesn't take up as much time to wrap things up. All right, I've gone ahead and added a few details here and there. I'm gonna add more to go through, but I've broken up the stone texture a little bit. Need to go uh, get some vines to make more mossy uh, bricks. And I've got the mossy cobblestone down as the foundation. To be honest, I think it turned out pretty good, if I do say so myself. Uh, I like it. Thank <laughs> you.
uh, let's go see what it looks like from the other angle. I am going to have to place these inside. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, let's just place these inside for now so uh, no one has to look at them. And so I can get a good thumbnail <laughs> for the video. Speaking of thumbnails, I don't know what happened, but the la I think it was because of the two streams I had messed up. But the last like video I did did so much you know worse than I thought. I thought it was the thumbnail, and I changed it. Uh, turns out no. I mean, it's just you know I I I don't know, man. <laughs> let's see. So let's check out what. It looks like from here. We'll get two different angles. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks really nice. Look at that. Wow. Hey, kind of that little bit of wood on the side isn't that bad, but I think that looks really good. A lot better than what I originally had there. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, clearly, I wasn't. Because this one, I actually sat down, took the time, and did it. Let's see how it looks from across the river. Okay, okay, that's cool. There's a big gap right there, but we can fill that with, like, trees and whatnot. Um, I guess the best view... Well, actually, the best view would be where I used to take all my thumbnails, which is right around, like... Where would I take them? I would... Or not thumbnails where I'd start. Ah, right here. And let's make sure we get a little height. Height. Oh yeah, look at that. Now, obviously, gotta do. There we go. Now take a picture there. And switch back my FOV. Okay, but. Yeah, that looks that looks quite nice. I mean, all things considered, it fills out the space perfectly. I will need to adjust that a little bit. And, you know, maybe we'll put something around there. Um, but wow, that, that turned out nice. And I'm glad it broke up the sea of Deep Slate because, you know, I did, I, I needed that. If, yeah, if I'm being honest, I, I did need that. But I think it looks good. I mean, in terms of color, shape, definitely shape. Shape definitely looks nice. Um, and then, you know, we'll just refine it from here. But I think, I don't know why I paused there, but I think, you know, we'll, uh, well, I'll check the run time for this video. And then, you know, s depending on where we sit, I'll record accordingly. But we might be good to wrap this up. So... Without further ado, well, yeah, I'll just check the runtime and we'll wrap it up. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys for watching the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. I know the church has a little bit of work to be done on it, but we'll, 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 you know, I'll be working on it on the side and stuff. I hope you all enjoyed the video today. Please remember to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you're new here. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And you know what? If you like my channel, tell your friends. Let them know. Say Beanan will provide you some free Minecraft entertainment. And hey, at worst, you get to feel better about the quality of your builds compared to mine. Uh, or the ADHD, who knows. But that just about does it for today. I'll see you guys in the next episode. This has been another episode of Back to Beta Days. I'm Beanan. Peace.